Now we gotta pray for him. Marshall. Nick says Eminem's name and a tone from an iconic scene from a movie, The Warriors, as seen in this clip from a taping of Wild and Out. Marshall, come out and play. Side note, the quote is come out to play, not come out and play. And I gotta give a sin for fucking that one up. Warriors, come out. But in this movie, the guy that Nick Cannon is pretending to be, Luther, is the biggest piece of shit. He literally shoots one of the most beloved characters of the entire film, Cyrus, who is trying to bring together all the gangs of New York to fight against the police. He then blames the shooting of Cyrus on another gang, the Warriors, gets the leader of that gang killed, and then throughout the entire film has the rest of the gangs trying to hunt down the Warriors for something that he did. And at the end of the film, everybody finds out that Luther is the one that killed Cyrus anyway. When they asked him, he said he just fucking did it because he could. They end up brutally murdering him, and the Warriors are let go free, so he picked a horrible character to represent here. He's still waiting. Nick had a second track fully prepared before even releasing the first track, but acts like his crew sat around waiting for a response from Eminem, and when they didn't get it, said, fuck it, let's hop back in the booth for some more You're Old and Gun Bars. Also, this sign clearly says no recording the monitors, and the monitor's being recorded right behind Nick, so fuck you. Lord forgive us, I know that it's kinda wrong for five brothers this talented to be on one song. Five? I'll let Charlie Hitman and Conceited slide, but Nick didn't even rhyme his opening bar in the last track, and Prince Easy said he'd eat a dead woman's vagina. Damn, and what you like, five minutes away from seven? Old jokes will always get a bell in my buck, but Nick himself is pushing 40 and M just turned 47. If anything, Nick is almost four times closer to being Eminem's age than Eminem being 70. And while we're on the subject of age, Mariah Carey is 49 and turns 50 in March, yet I don't hear anybody talking about this, so can we start calling Nick Cannon a cougar hunter at this point? Strapping the dynamite word to Florida Evans. JJ was the character on Good Times that said dynamite, not Florida Evans. That was his mother. I understand he's trying to make the rhyme scheme work, but it's just incorrect information. Hello, lucky person. You got the number right, because you are talking to kid a dynamite. Nah, I ain't do this first for the fame of the cow. I did this first to say, keep my brother uh, name out your I mean, mouth. This is simply not true. The amount of people that have dissed Nick Cannon in the past is absolutely unprecedented. Yet, here you all are going at the biggest person. Literally type in Nick Cannon diss, and there's probably like 75 of them right now after this entire thing. Get to writing, Charlie. I've been a star, your favorite Actors want to get sexual. 20 seconds of Hitman doing nothing besides saying very generic things such as this. When you ain't perked up, you sweeter than lemonade, yeah? According to most recipes for lemonade, it is considered a sweet and sour drink because lemons are sour and sweetened by sugar. In fact, if your lemonade is only sweet, it means you made it wrong and you should not have made it this far in life. See, you tried to bully pink in them, Britney Spears and sink in them. Hey, one of the cast members forgot their words in the video. Get used to that. Britney Spears. Seriously, the amount of time these guys forget their words or say different words when they're supposed to say other words is going to get annoying in this. Don't you got a cash flow? What the fuck you mad for? Hey, one of the cast members forgot their words in the video. Get used to that. Don't you got it. Also, Hitman thinks having money means you can't get mad at anything, even though Nick Cannon is clearly mad enough to make two diss tracks and he's bragged about his money several times. So track you at a casket. Hey, one of the cast members forgot their words in the video. Get used to that. You at a casket. You mad that you ain't Cannon. <laughs> Oh, that was a belly laugh worth 10 cents. A guy who literally holds more records than anyone in hip hop history is mad that he's not a guy whose only recognizable song is with a rapist that pisses on underage girls. I'm halfway attempted to take away some sins because this statement is so outlandish that I feel like Conceited is just fucking with Nick's ego on this, but I can't. And all them pills you stay cramming, still giving you brain damage. Eminem is 11 years sober. I think I said that in the last one as well. I understand that he's trying to do some clever wordplay with the song titles and brain damage and guilty conscience, but it's just not fucking true. It doesn't take pills anymore. Cause you stay up on cannonballs. Oh. That's a hand. You're always hiding your trailer. We know you big man. Hey, one of the cast members forgot their words in the video. Get used to that. Hiding your trailer. We know you big man. Get your bitch to run in our lap. Hey, one of the cast members forgot their words in the video. Get used to that. I told you it was gonna get annoying, and we're not even to Prince Easy's yet. He fucking forgot his whole damn verse. <laughs> Instead of staying in the booth to get your rhyming out. Honestly, I blame whoever edited this video on all of these scenes being in here of people forgetting their words. I've filmed several music videos where I don't remember every single word that I say, but I take them out. I mean, seriously, that is like editing 101. Throw a slow-mo cinematic in there. Have a wild and out girl flash the camera. Show DJ T-Rex fucking a turntable. Literally, whatever you do, do not show a rapper not memorizing their lines and mumbling their lyrics because it looks so amateurish and they are going up against arguably the greatest rapper alive and you 
can't make these mistakes. Okay, Prince Easy sucks and he basically forgot every single fucking word that he wrote down. So I'm just gonna show you all the times that he missed the word and then I'm gonna put a bell at the end of it instead of saying something in between each time. So I'll just say it right now. <clears throat> hey, one of the cast members forgot their words in the video. Get used to that. Ain't no back door cause all of my troops are thorough. <laughs> Ain't got no bitch clock, Nina, my new girl. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Sick of all my homies keep dying, my puke Earl. The fuck? God should have took him and just let us keep Juice World. I'm gonna go ahead and interrupt Prince Easy, not remembering anything he wrote. I know you guys are probably wanting to watch that, but first we gotta add on to the shit stack. But that was totally fucked up and uncalled for. Juice's body wasn't even cold by the time this came out, and I basically determined that Prince Easy is a piece of shit. I shouldn't even have to explain how stupid it was to do this. 100 sins and rest in peace, Juice World. Back to business. This sucks more than anything that has ever sucked before. Nick, my brother, you this and that gotta suffer. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Told him don't dish you back, let us handle this motherfucker. What the fuck? Look, I scratched the cereal numb up off the baby llama. Him ain't seen a ratchet this dirty since his baby mama. Of the 88 words that Prince Easy rapped on the track, he physically only said 19 of them in this video. So coincidentally, he left out 69 words. So we're gonna give him 69 sins. Also, Hitman called a gun a llama in the last track track and now Prince Easy is calling the gun a llama in this track and to be honest I've heard a lot of people call guns weird things but this diss track series is the only time I've ever heard it be called a llama and they've had two people say it in two different tracks there's literally a million different things you can call a gun but you coincidentally call it something that somebody else has called it and it's oddly specific so I'm definitely given a sin for either stealing or no creativity also Prince Easy clearly hasn't heard Kim I think calling her a dirty wretched doesn't even pale into comparison as what Eminem's called her I think it said something similar to that in the last video about Prince Easy. Man, this guy's really limited on what he could talk about. All this cocaine out here, and you wanna put your nose in my business. What is this fixation of Eminem's 11 year old drug use? Like, I don't understand why they keep coming back to this. God damn, y'all niggas ain't have to do it like that. Shit, we don't do it, we overdo it. Um, is. Is Nick listening to the same thing that everybody else is listening to? Nick, if you are currently watching this, please comment what makes you think that this is like good like why do you think this wins this entire thing just let me know is it because you guys made back-to-back -back tracks and that eminem hasn't responded in 24 hours like you've liked because it took you over a year to respond to the warning and you responded with i'm a slick rick you play fucked up games win fucked up prizes nick thinks that the camera is a mirror and he's talking to himself because he know he fucked up i ain't had to rap on this motherfucker you know what I'm not gonna rap. Nick Cannon lied, and that's a real life sin. You used to be in a position to talk to kids and they listen, now you a politician, you voted for Trump, bitch, admit it. Why the fuck does Nick Cannon rap like this? He was literally just speaking perfectly fine a second ago, and then as soon as he starts to rap, he goes back into this little whisper thing that he did in the first diss. Also, does Nick forget Eminem's four and a half minute BET cypher literally shitting all over Donald Trump? But we better give Obama props, cause what we got in office now's a kamikaze that'll probably cause a nuclear holocaust cost and while the drama pops and he waits for shit to quiet down he'll just gas his plane up and fly around to the bombing stops also also the only time nick remotely sounds like he knows how to rap he's literally just rapping lyrics from eminem's verse on renegade and changing a handful of words with the exact same flow but now you get a facelift like an instagram horse. i can't find any information anywhere about eminem getting a facelift but I did find this information about Mariah Carey constantly getting Botox injections throughout her marriage with Nick Cannon. Used to be the king of the rule, ludicrous, lucrative lyrics. Now all you do is just cry like you got Tourette's in the stereo. Hey, more of Renegade! Also just realized whoever annotated this on Genius sucks at picking out what words are, because he clearly says rude, not world. Your original music that your fans used to cherish. Now you debated, disputed, hated, and viewed in America as a motherfucking drug addict. You'll never be a legend. Hey, more of Renegade! Also, again with the fixation of the 11 year old drug use i know you're trying to flip his own lyrics but you're doing a piss poor job of it also also he tries to rhyme legend with i don't even know what legend doesn't even come close to rhyming with anything in this section you really start to stare at who's in the mail look at all that fucking botox bitch i know you in bed i would love to hear the raw clip of this part of the music video because i have no fucking idea what nick cannon is saying and i'm pretty sure he doesn't know either also, more Botox, you know, because Mariah had Botox while well, you guys are married. Ah, you probably paid for it. Fuck all the tricks and the gimmicks, you like the new white supremacist. Being white means you're a white supremacist. Apparently. Say the same fucking sentences, nigga, you ain't no lyricist. Well, according to you, he is. My number two, Eminem. And then when you just talk about just straight lyricism, yeah, like. Can't rap with him. Like, like, battle for battle, you. Can't rap with him. Bet you never thought the kill shot would come from the cannon. Bye. Oh. Nick Cannon thought the camera was a mirror again. You used to be a renegade. 
Hey, more Renegade! I love how Nick took the time to even layer his own vocals and like change the pitch. This was the best sounding he was the entire time. For that, I won't give you a sin for copying Renegade again. I had no Personal. idea that Nick Cannon was gonna start wilding out on me. Nick Cannon includes an interview of the one time Eminem spoke about him, even though there's dozens of interviews out there of Nick Cannon basically sucking all over Eminem's junk. These are my socials. Feel free to follow. I love you.